done. It is currently Wednesday, it's about half past 10, and I just walked with Danny to the subway because he's working in town today. So I walked to the subway, picked myself up a coffee, also went to the shops because I'm meeting my sister later and I bought some flowers. It feels very early, but it's literally like half past 10. When I woke up this morning, I thought it was like 7, but it wasn't. But I'm just gonna go back home. It feels very autumnal this morning. But I'm a little bit warm in my puffy jacket. It's maybe a bit early to bring this out. Here is my outfit to go and meet my sister. We're gonna go on a walk. I actually do have pattern tights on. So I'm pretty sad you can't tell. But we're gonna go on a walk and I also need to go to Boots to pick up some things. Danny and I are also waiting to hear back about a flat that he put an offer in for. But I feel like it's not gonna be good news because it's been like an hour and a half since the closing time and we still haven't heard anything. So I'm gonna be really disappointed. I hope it not because I feel like I'm in quite a good mood today and this is definitely gonna ruin my mood. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but it's all been bad news so far. So I would not be surprised if it was also bad news. Hello. Hey. Didn't get it. Yeah, we got it. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> oh, no, I'm oh. I've already filmed this like three times and I'm just feeling so jittery and like shaky. That is not going well and my camera is now flashing red. But as you just saw, Danny got accepted for a flat, finally. His offer got accepted. I also have mascara in my eye, by the way, but I'm just waiting for it to dry. But if you've watched my other videos, we have been looking for a flat. For quite a few months Danny was buying a flat and he finally got one which is so exciting and it's also a flat we like loved we saw it a few weeks ago and we just absolutely loved it and we thought that there was no chance that he was gonna get it but he did obviously they didn't let us know for quite a few hours so we had both just kind of presumed that we hadn't got it but we have so I don't even know like what I'm saying, I just cannot believe it. And I feel so, so lucky that this is the flat he's been accepted for. What the heck is in my hair? But I'm kind of in a rush right now because this evening, Danny and I are going to watch his brother's girlfriend on a panel for a radio show. It's called The Kitchen Cabinet. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, but I think it's on BBC Radio 4 and she's been on it before, but she's on it tonight and we're gonna go watch that. She had a few extra tickets. So that would be really fun. I feel like it'd be fun to like do something this evening as well because we're like celebrating. But I am walking into town and I needed to have left 15 minutes ago. So I really should get a move on. But also from Boots, this is like such a mess this club. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this in. From Boots I got a lip liner because my lip liner that I absolutely loved they don't sell it anymore and I lost the end of it. I mean, it was literally had like that much left and I lost it. Um, so I bought a new one. This is from 17. I did want a NYX one, but they didn't sell NYX at the boots I went to. But it's, I don't even know, 030 Dusky Pink. That's the color. And I also got some shower gel and some hairspray and got something else. And a moisturizer because I needed that. I also gave my sister her flowers. She was very happy with them. It's cause she got her result for her master's dissertation back. She did a master's in English literature at Glasgow and she got an A1, which is full marks. Sorry, who gets full marks in the dissertation? I have never heard of anyone getting full marks in the dissertation. That is literally just insanity to me. Um, and she got full marks, so pretty crazy so i obviously had to get her some flowers clearly she got all the brains in the family actually my brother's really smart too i'm a bit of an odd one out but yeah we're all super excited about that too and now she wants to do a phd she's so smart it's crazy how does it feel to be a homeowner well, professionally yeah. homeowner, and it's terrifying. I'll take you back. <laughs> Today is a really fun and exciting day because we are having a flat cooling party this evening, which you might be like, what on earth is that? It's basically just a flat warming, but we're moving out. Which does kind of just sound like an excuse to have people around, 
but we never had a flat warming at this flat so i thought might as well have a flat cooling so i'm really looking forward to that but i have a lot of things i need to do before this evening i need to clean i need to tidy i also think i want to make a focaccia if you've watched my videos before i make a really good focaccia and all my friends love it so i'm gonna make one of those and i also need to get clean and tidy myself as you can tell i look awful i need to wash my hair but i wanted to like do all the cleaning and stuff like that first before i have a shower because i don't like cleaning if i'm clean which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense but it makes me feel dirty we don't have like a whole lot of people coming but i like to be a good host and have like food and drinks and stuff like that for everybody so that would be really fun but i also have some other things to do today as you can see i actually kind of need to start packing because my mum brought this suitcase up for me on monday and like every single day she's called me and been like have you filled that suitcase yet and i have not so i'm gonna do that right now because we're moving out in just under two weeks now i feel like i haven't really spoken about that even though this is meant to be the first moving vlog and i really don't think there's been very much moving content at all but we're moving out in two weeks and i have a lot of stuff that i need to pack up we're both just moving back home to our family houses they're very close so it's not like we'll be very far from each other we are moving there basically until we can move into the new flat which i'm not sure when that will be i think it will probably be quite a while because apparently it takes kind of long to do all that stuff i have no idea but that's why i've heard so we're moving back home for a while don't know how long for but i'm quite looking forward to it i think it'll be fun but i need to pack my stuff because this is going to take a long time i think so what i'm going to do is pack the stuff in this wardrobe because our wheel broke it's actually broken quite a few times and usually my dad will come up and fix it but the last time it broke a couple weeks ago we were like there's no point so i have a lot of clothes like on the bottom of the wardrobe but most of them are like long dresses so i feel like i can pack most of them i'll maybe keep like a couple more casual ones but i have nowhere fancy to go so i don't need any fancy dresses so i'm gonna start packing this will be super super fun i can't really do well and i'm just gonna put some gossip girl on but yeah that's the plan for today very fun the party also is like kind of halloween themed it wasn't really meant to be but we obviously have a lot of halloween decorations up right now and yesterday i sent danny off to home bargains to pick up a few things and he came back with only halloween like food and decorations so it's become a halloween party which i'm not opposed to whatsoever because i love halloween but obviously no one's gonna like dress up or anything i don't think but maybe i'll put something kind of spooky on it didn't seem like we were looking for that long Okay, I filled the suitcase. I still have that to fill and I realized I've got a couple more bags that I could probably use. But I just shoved everything else back in the cupboard and now I am going to start on my focaccia because it needs to prove for quite a while. So I feel like I need to hurry up and get started on it. my focaccia is done i did in fact forget rosemary so it doesn't look as good as it usually does but i'm hoping it will still be okay also i've noticed that like a bit of the salt has clumped together there so 
I'm gonna try and fix that. Here's our little setup for tonight. I might also put a candle on here. I feel like that could be nice, but we just have some snacks, some sweets, and here is my focaccia. I haven't tried it yet. Hoping it's not too salty. I do like to add the extra salt, but I feel like I may have overdone it this time. We also have some, as <laughs> you can hear Danny singing. We've got some roses, they look quite nice. Thought they were kind of Halloween-y, because they're orange. And then some mixer, in case anybody needs anything. These are two best glasses. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. Because Hannah and Scott are coming in, they've got me those glasses. I don't know, you two surprise me. This one's from Urban. This they don't sell them anymore though. Oh, vintage. Because I got my mum them and... That's well, true. they do, but... Not the exact same pattern as that. This is from Holy Grass. Holy Grass one. Rock Rose or something like that. Is that yeah. the same thing? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, who knows? <laughs> bad but right now they just seem to have a mind of their own. I did try and shave them like a couple years ago and they looked honestly even worse so I'm just gonna have to deal with my crazy sideburns. It is a week tomorrow until we move out of this flat which I'm feeling kind of sad about to be honest. I didn't really expect to care that much about moving out of this flat um, because we've only been here for six months and even though it is a nice flat there are a lot of things wrong with it. It's obviously very dark, which I feel like you can tell from my videos. Like, I obviously have to have the main light on right now. And because of that, it does get a bit damp and stuff like that. So it's not perfect, but it has been our home, I guess, for like the past six months. So I'm kind of feeling a wee bit sad about moving out. But I'm excited to move home and then move into our new flat whenever that is. I still really don't know when we're going to be moving. But I have not done any more packing since the last time I saw you, which was almost a week ago. So I really need to get a move on. I did take that stuff home and then bring the suitcases back up here. So I have some more packing to do today. I think I'm going to try and tackle this wardrobe, which I'm not looking forward to because basically for the past month, I've just been shoving clothes in there and not hanging anything up. So it's gonna be pretty horrible to go through. I also feel like I keep forgetting about all the like random stuff we've got. Like we have so much stuff under our bed and stuff like in drawers, like my bedside table. It's just a complete mess. So I need to figure out what to do with all that stuff. I also know I probably should be clearing out stuff right now, but in my head I'm like, oh, I'll just clear it out when we move into the new flat. But that's probably a stupid idea because I said I would do that with this flat and I never did. I also did this morning walk to the subway with Danny because he was going into time for work. And I went to a charity shop because yesterday, I basically was having a really bad day yesterday. And in the evening, Danny was going to get his hair cut. So he was like, why don't you come with me and go to some charity shops? And I was like, well, I'll never say no to that. But I gave myself a strict rule that I could not buy anything. I was basically just window shopping because as you already know, I've mentioned it about 10 billion times. I am still unemployed. If anyone would like to hire me, I'm free all the time. I have been applying for lots of jobs. I actually had a job interview yesterday, but um, I don't think I actually applied for that job. Like I really can't find any evidence of me ever applying for it. And I really am not sure what the job is even for, but at least I'm making some sort of progress. But I did see a skirt yesterday that I really liked and I, considered it all night I thought about it and I was like do you know what I think this is a good purchase so I went back this morning and got it so it's this long like tartan skirt I feel like it does look slightly old woman-esque but I think I like it and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it to be honest and it's a really nice material except it doesn't have any sort of washing instructions on it so I'm not really sure how to wash this but I'll ask my mum and I'm sure she can tell me. So yeah, I picked this up, it was eight pounds, which is part of the reason I really was not sure about buying it because that is a bit expensive. But I like it and hopefully I'll get some wear out of it. But I cannot buy any more clothes because there is literally no space in my house 
to put any more clothes. Anyway, you're here to see the moving content. So that's what I need to do. He always does. My packing did not go very well today. I filled one suitcase and that was it. So I feel like this moving vlog has maybe been a bit of a fail, but next time I swear I'll have more actual moving content. But Danny and I are currently walking to Oren Moore for a pub quiz. It's just us tonight. Usually we've got a wee team, um, but everyone said that they weren't free. But yeah, it's a week tomorrow until we move so there are many things to do in the flat but we'll get them done I'll 